Okay, you guys, we are having a little bit of technical difficulty, so I am sorry if it seems delayed at first, um, but I am watching on my phone at the same time, so hopefully this is good for you. Um, welcome, everyone. I am Kim Arneson. I am the Outreach Coordinator for the Healer Within Foundation, and I will be introducing our practice leader for today's session. Um, but first, we are absolutely delighted to have you here with us today. Um, thank you so much for your willingness to enhance your daily practice with us. And we also want to extend a huge thank you to our leader today, Sharon, Sharon Infante, for joining us in this space. Thank you so much, Sharon. Sharon will be leading us through a 30 minute practice session today. Towards the end of her practice session, you'll find her contact information located in the chat section of this video. If you feel inclined to check out her work and latest offerings after what is sure to be a beautiful session. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce our practice leader today, Sharon. Sharon Infante has been studying the Eastern arts since 2001 and holds certifications as a medical Qigong practitioner, an Institute of Integral Qigong and Tai Chi senior trainer for Tai Chi Easy and healer within practice leader, certified 200 hours in Qigong with the universal healing Tao and various Qigong and Tai Chi forms. Additionally, she is trained in medical Qigong, meditation, certified advanced Reiki, sacred sound healing with tuning forks, gongs, Tibetan poles, and crystal bowls. She conducts trainings, workshops, classes, and presentations. She has studied with many practitioners, healers, shamans, masters, and a grandmaster. She brings beautiful energy to, the, to today's practice. Again, thank you to this community for partaking in this practice session. I hope you all have a beautiful day. And without further ado, why don't you go ahead and take it away, Sharon? Kim, thank you so much for that lovely opening. And Thank you to uh, the Healer Within Foundation for allowing me to present to all of you. And I'm so glad for all of you that have showed up here. Um, that means something to all of us. We're all meant to be here, that synchronicity. Um, there's so much I want to share. And I decided for the first time to just do a 30 minute practice. My practices are usually at least an hour. So this was a challenge that I took on for myself. How can I really keep it nice and simple and easy for you? So I first want to just share that we're gonna do a, a, a little chair practice. We're gonna do some standing practice after that. But I do wanna share this quote with you from the Healer Within book. And which is part of the training if you decide to sign up for trainings. Um, in the book, there's this wonderful quote from one of my favorite authors, Norman Cousins. The marvelous pharmacy that we designed by nature and placed into our being by the universal architect produces most of the medicine that we need. Wow. So I Every time I read this, it just takes it to another level for me. We naturally have the ability to create medicine within our body. We have the natural ability. We don't have to do anything because we don't tell our heart what to do. We don't tell our organs what to do, right? But we need to just give it what it needs. And then that medicine just produces. So that's where these practices are so essential. I'm just going to move that book here. Um, the other way that you can also, um, I put, um, put together um, a short little exercises that we can do, but if you don't know what to do, we have these fabulous cards that I'm also going to, I pulled some cards beforehand um, it, that can guide you in a practice. Um, I, some people use it as I do as an Oracle card. Um, and so I pulled out and it was quite interesting. Pretty much everything I wanted to do is right here. <laughs> so, um, we will be getting to these momentarily, but in there it talks about the benefits of Qigong, reducing stress and anxiety and, um, helps with chronic pain. We know that there's natural medicines because when you cut your finger, 
we don't, a small little cut, we don't have to do anything. And even if we had to put a little something on it, it just heals. So these are things in strengthening our bones and circulation and things like that. We're going to come back to those cards. Our, our beginning practice is going to start with um, um, an, a somewhat of an order of breath work, movement, massage, and meditation. That's what we're going to incorporate in here. And they all kind of overlap um, in areas as well. So typically, we start with uh, just shaking off. And so we can rock in the chair and just feel a little at ease and let that anxiety, that tension go into the earth. And let's take a breath in, breathing in and release and say, ah, ah. So these sigh reliefs remind us when we are in a rush and we finally get to sit down in that chair and we just have this sound that comes out. Ah. So do that with me. Ah. One more. Ah, beautiful. So we can do them fast and slow. Let's begin to work with the vitality method. Vitality. Who doesn't want vitality? We want to feel good. So your hands are at the side of your chair, palms face up. Turn them over and they face down. When we do this as a standing practice, there might be a little bit of movement forward and back. If you feel inclined to do so while you're sitting, by all means, go ahead and do that. So we can add a natural breath, always checking in, are we breathing? Now, the shake off is wonderful when we are anxious maybe sad, depressed, been sitting a while, and we just need to change that energy. And here we're beginning to just move some of that and get a little bit more grounded and calm. We call this flowing motion. From here, we're gonna slow this down. And then bring our arms to the sides of the chair. And we're going to begin to work our spine. And our spine can move in at least six directions. And so we're going to do some of that here today. We bring our hands. When I say closed hands, closed fists, it's just gentle. Don't squeeze. We're not looking to punch someone out. So breathe in. Look up. Arch your back. Bring those elbows to your side. Exhale, hinge, fold here at the upper body as the, palm, the palms close into the belly. Breathing in, look up again. Bending the spine is so important. That's how you tell the age of a yogi. We are all yogis. So this is like a sitting cat cow. Working the spine. You can experiment with that, being on the left side or the right side just a little bit. Breathing in and exhale, clench tight. Be tight here now. And exhale, release. Come on back to the center. Breathing in and exhale. Come to the other side. Your left, my right, breathe in, look up, and exhale. Come back to neutral. One more time. And exhale. Release the palms, let them be open, let them circle around. Our eyes are looking straight ahead and the arms come down, gathering and condensing, bringing the arms back to the side. Moving the spine from side to side, we start with the ear to the shoulder, left and right. Honoring your range of motion. Don't forget to check in, are you breathing? And now let's reach down towards the floor, but we're not gonna touch the floor. 
and rise up. Ear to shoulder, reach towards the floor. Nice to get these side bends in. Opening up our side, the obliques, and stretching the spine in all directions. This time, bring your hand up over the head and back down. Bring the arm to your side, ear to shoulder, reach towards the floor and bring your free arm up over the head and stretch. Breathing in and exhaling. Enjoy the flow left and right. Enjoy the silence in between. That's where all the healing and medicine comes is being okay with silence. One last side. Beautiful. Let's bring those hands in front of our belly. We can interlock them. Breathing in, bring those hands up, reach up, enjoy that stretch. Release the interlocked fingers as they extend out and down. Go as fast or slow as you want, but know that this is not a race. Feel the elongation of the spine and then the softening and contracting. Look up if you wish and then come back to neutral. One more, let's do one more together. Beautiful. And give a little shake and let's tap it out here. So this is a nice little easy short routine that you can do in 10 minutes. You can tap the upper body and then we tap the lower body or you can do the upper body into the lower body which is usually how I do it. Coming here across around the head and now we're going to Tap on the back, on the kidneys and adrenals, the sacral spine, coming down the sides of the legs, invigorating our body. And these exercises can all be done standing as well. One more time. We didn't get to the chest, so we will come into the belly and the chest here. Up your right, so we'll be opposite. You're gonna come up your right side and we'll be opposite here. Just tap around the belly. You can use a closed gentle hand as well. And now let's just tap on the chest a little bit. Breathe in and exhale. <sighs> Beautiful. Tap down the sides. And we didn't get the face. So tap on the face as we give ourselves a nice little lift and twinkle on the eyes. I love how that feels. On the lips as well. And down to the chest, into the belly. Take a moment here and just Connect in, see how you're feeling. Maybe tingling, maybe cold, maybe warmth, maybe nothing, maybe something else. That's a great little practice. Let's rub our hands now. Go on to a massage. So when we rub our hands, you might begin to feel them as being cold slippery, and then you might begin to feel a little warm, stickiness, or something else, or nothing. Slow that down. Warming the hands, massaging the hands. I like to start with the hands and then go to the ears, into the neck and shoulders, 
and bend into the legs and the feet. So we're not gonna have all the time today to do all of that because I do wanna do a standing practice. But let's go in and massage our hands, bringing, just finding whatever space needs to be massaged. Massage the whole hand, the fingers, the top, the bottom. Yeah, these are just general things that we can do for ourselves. And we probably have done that if we had uh, injured ourselves. Go into the other hand as well. You might find new techniques that work good for you. You might find a spot that hurts. Then lessen off and don't press so hard. Just enjoy and be in the space. Really be present. Yeah, look at your hands while you're doing that. Really be aware and intentionally focusing in. Okay. From here, I like to take it into my ears. So we just massage all parts of the ears, the outer part, different areas corresponding to different areas of the body. And we have the most number of acupressure points in our ears, pulling on the lobes, Massaging in front of the ear, behind the ear, circling around. And the cartilage, go into the cartilage. Just massage every part and enjoy. I like to do these exercises first thing in the morning and at night. They help me sleep well. And then I'll do them whenever I need to. So now I'm going into the neck, into the shoulders. And then sometimes what I find is that it's a little, a little added stress this way. So I'll take my, my right hand, your left, and place it on my left shoulder, your right, and use my left hand to support the elbow. And now I'll go into the neck and massage. I can also use this hand that's underneath my elbow to help move that arm back and reach into uh, other areas that need some attention. <sighs> Don't forget to breathe and exhale. You can squeeze, you can massage, pulse, and then to the other side, same thing here. So we're not going to do the feet, but I do encourage you when we are done to just remove your shoes if they're not already removed and massage your feet, the soles of the feet, the tops of the feet, the ankles and the toes and enjoy. And from here, let's just enter into a brief mode of meditation where we just focus on the breath. And so the positioning that I like is having my legs shoulder width apart. My back is not on my chair. My palms are face up for receiving. But if you want to ground more, then in, place one hand on top of the other and your thumbs connected. So choose what's comfortable for you. Breathing in, expanding the belly, and exhale, releasing, letting go. I invite you to close your eyes, taking your breath in, expanding the belly like a balloon, and exhale here, releasing and letting go. One more time. And now do three on your own. And if your eyes are closed, begin to blink them open, reintroducing light back into your soul and allow your thumbs to glide over your fingers, 
and begin to wiggle your toes, bringing in that awareness to ourself and where we are. Take a breath in and exhale and check in. How are you feeling? I know I'm feeling so much more calm from before when I started and more relaxed. Yin practices like this are really wonderful in the afternoon and into the evening. This is a great hour of when you really want to enter into those and more vigorous ones earlier in the day. I did use my cards and I am, this is the standing practice that we're going to do now, but you're welcome to stay in the chair if you want to and find your own way to play with this. So as I stated before I started our, our um, presentation here today, the class session, I chose five cards to, um, and I, they came out randomly. So it wasn't like I picked the specific ones. I actually used it as an Oracle uh, deck, which I use regularly. Okay. So the first exercise um, is going to be um, the wise owl. And we're gonna be turning our head left and right. So we stand here with our feet, uh, legs, shoulder width apart, knees are soft and body tucked just a little bit, arms at our side. Bring your palms to face your belly area. Breathe in, those arms extend out and look either left or right. And then bring those hands back in on the exhale. Breathe in and expand those hands. Now, if you're exhaling in or inhaling it in a different way, that's just fine. So I like this practice, and this comes from a classic form of Qigong. I really like this because to elongate the spine, sometimes we don't know how to do that. So look at your fingers, wiggle it. And have your eyes gaze downward and you'll notice that your cervical spine will elongate and then come back to neutral. So you scan the room and look for your fingers. Oh, feels so good. Ah, beautiful. One more time each side. Turning like the owl. Broadening the chest in here too. Opening up the chest is really wonderful. Let me go grab my next card. So these were not memorized and I'm demonstrating how you can use them. The next one is awakening the breath. Okay, so if you, you know, if you get dizzy or whatever, perhaps use the chair and sit on the chair, all right? Now, all I want us to do is to just gather and bring our arms up and then bring them down and allow the neck to just become loose and gazing the eyes down to the earth and each vertebrae coming down one at a time. On the exhale here. Oh, enjoy and release. You can dangle, let that head dangle for a moment. Knees are soft and begin to breathe in and rise up nice and slow from the sacral spine up to the cervical spine, head is less. And if you want, roll the shoulders. Uh, one more time, just so that we can really enjoy this stretch. You can either have the hands come one on top of the other or just bring this energy down, or you can just start right from this point. Neck, chin to chest, and begin to roll down. And rising up. Nice and slow. Oh, this feels so good. Stretching the spine. Nice and enjoy. From here, I want us to go into, it is a more challenging stance. It is a meditate, you can use this as a standing meditation. Our legs are shoulder width apart, so people expand a little more. I'm gonna keep it pretty simple here today. We're gonna bring our palms and have them face our chest area, our bellies, more of the solar plex heart area. Now, and then we are going to tuck the trunk and then soften the knees. 
Soften the shoulders, breathing in, focus on the belly, expanding and contracting. And if you're sitting in the chair, then come towards the edge of the chair with your legs spread just a little bit and the toes facing forward. And also have the arms then facing you and stay soft. And the moment you feel tension, just say soft, relax. We'll stay here for about a minute. Beautiful. Hopefully your eyes remained opened. Begin to release slowly rising up and shake it off. We had two other exercises to do. To, so we're going to look at, they were to invigorate the organ and massage the feet. <laughs> okay. So I already said, massage your feet when we're all finished. Invigorating the organs, we're going to go back into our chair. And that's where we're going to end. And if you feel like staying in that position, then please do and continue on even after the, this class has been shut off, okay? When I just wanna say, I'm so glad you're here to learn these easy exercises. They're not simple, they, there's so many layers within them. So to invigorate, rub those hands, and let's just place them on our body. Right, so on our right side is our liver and our gallbladder. And on the left side is our um, spleen and stomach. And we have the colon system and then energy passes through. So you're also getting maybe some of the kidneys as well. Just take a moment here to just Bring your awareness to where your hands are. Beautiful. Let's bring them up to the solar plex and the, and the chest, or you can have it actually in the heart or in the belly. So that's my favorite place is to connect right here into the heart and the belly. And know that as we are wrapping up our session today, starting and ending your day with a, a heart gratitude meditation, and it doesn't have to be long. It's just simply saying, I am grateful for all that I have learned. I am grateful for what's in my life. I am grateful for this body, for what it does for me what I feel and I am grateful for the Healer Within Foundation and for all of you being here. Bring those hands now to your kidneys. If you can't reach the kidneys, bring them to the side or back in front and just take a moment. Sometimes leaning forward makes it a little easier. Bring your awareness to your hands. Let's bring them once again into the heart. Smiling in, feeling the joy and the love and the warmth, connecting in. Our body is miraculous. How it's able to heal, heal us, and keep us healthy. How it's able to release tensions, aches, pains, and we don't have to tell it what to do to beat, the heart to beat, the lungs to breathe and release toxins, for the blood to move. These are the miraculous exercises and things that we can bring into our life and bring our hands into prayer. I bow to all of you. Thank you so much for being here and showing up and trying, trying these exercises that might have felt a little strange. 
Everyone have a blessed day. I hope to see you down here in St. Augustine, Florida, um, in one of my live classes and online classes. And have a great and blessed day. Bye.